Hey, what's going on? So I want to talk about exponential growth because I think a lot of people hear the word exponential growth or things grow exponentially and they just think, oh, wow, it's growing fast, right? It's just something that's growing quickly. But that's actually not the truth. Uh, it's not the case that if something grows exponentially, it's just growing fast all the time. No, that's actually not the case. If you really think about it, think about the first part of exponential growth. Right? Think about the first part of exponential growth. So if it's true exponential growth, it's not just going fast. It's, it's actually growing gradually at first, and it's honestly barely growing. So here's what it looks like in terms of the learning process, or if you're embarking on a certain journey where you know, you're starting a business or you're starting a relationship or whatever it is, usually the returns on that, the benefits long term are much greater than the benefits short term. Because usually in the short term, it's, it's a very gradual process, right? It's, it's honestly something that, you know, for a while, the results can be underwhelming. And so I think this is important to keep in mind because when people think about exponential growth, they oftentimes just think about, oh, it's growing quickly. They just think about the fast, the end part of exponential growth. But the truth is, you know, for the, the, the first part of it, it's underwhelming results. And so you have to be able to set your expectations in accordance with that. Because what happens is a lot of people, because they think that something grows exponentially, they just try to go all in right away and they burn themselves out or they create expectations that are unrealistic, thinking that, oh, you know, I'm going to be successful in the next three months, having started from nothing, right? Having nothing. I mean, it's possible, but it's not necessarily probable. Uh, it depends on who you are and where you're at. But if you're starting from nothing and let's say, you know, no skills, no connections, anything, um, it, you know, it's, it's difficult to just do that from zero to, to whatever your idea of success is within three months, right? Um, but here's the thing is with exponential growth, and this really applies to things that you have to build over a long time, right? Something like a business or you know, your skills in a certain area, learning a new language, for example, learning um, a certain art or whatever it is, right? Singing or playing an instrument, whatever it is. Uh, to, to really master it, it really takes time. And even not even just mastering it, but a step below that is getting to the point where you're very proficient at it, where you're able to get consistent results in that area, right? So it might not necessarily be like, you know, people have different concepts of mastery. I think some people think you know, world-class, but let's just even say getting consistent results. You can go out there, get, consi can get consistent results in this area that you're focusing on, right? Or you're able to look how you want to look. Like, let's say you're playing guitar or you sound the way you want to sound. Right? You're playing guitar, you're learning salsa, you're learning how to sing, whatever it is. You're learning how to speak uh, a new language. You're able to be fairly fluent at it. Right? That process, I've talked about this before, a thousand days is, is for me, that's what I have in mind as a, as a baseline foundational commitment in that area. If I'm learning something, right? I start with that idea. I can keep going, of course, if, you know, once I get to a thousand days, if I want to keep going, want to keep going deeper, then by all means I can do that. But I just don't judge the results in this thing I'm going into until about a thousand days into it, right? Because I think people judge the results too early. What I mean by that is they'll start a business or they'll try to improve their dating and social life and they'll expect results within 90 days or something like that, right? They'll expect, oh, you know, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to accomplish all my goals in the next 90 days. But then they get there and they realize, oh, you know, I'm not, I haven't gotten any results. Right? This is very common. Uh, or they get a year into it and maybe they've gotten some results, but it's just underwhelming. It's not how they expected it would be after a year. I used to do this where I used to tell myself, I'm going to master this thing in the next year. I mean, master this thing in the next year. I get there. I'm like, wow, you know, I got some results, but it's definitely underwhelming. It's not what I expected. It, it was, you know, it's something that was disappointing to a certain extent, right? And then I would get discouraged and I would fall off. But when I changed my perspective and realized, no, that first year, that's all about building that foundation, getting the rejections, getting the failures in, like just going through that painful process because it's a bit painful actually at first. It's, or not just painful, but uncomfortable, 
is a better word for it maybe, right? It's, it's definitely, it can be an uncomfortable process, especially that first 20 hours. A lot of embarrassment, you start, it's, it's a lot of cringy moments where you look at yourself or you hear, hear yourself, or here's a good example for a lot of people, is making videos, right? Making videos of yourself. A lot of times, people within, you know, the, the first few videos that they make of themselves, let's say they're, they're posting videos on YouTube or they're just making videos for themselves, right? Oftentimes they'll cringe. They'll cringe for a while, right? And maybe after 20 hours, you start to get used to it. And then maybe after 100 videos, then you actually start to enjoy it, right? But it takes a, some iteration. It takes a while to get used to that process. So that's a, that's a good example, I think. And that really applies to any sort of skill that you're learning or any sort of thing that you're starting, whatever requires a long-term commitment in order to get results. And from what I've seen, you know, it's about having those expectations in place so that once you're a year into it, you realize, okay, exponential, exponential growth, I'm not even at the inflection point yet. So that's where the results take off, is that at that inflection point, right? You're still maybe climbing up and maybe you're right before the inflection point, right? Where, you know, I'm trying to draw the graph with my finger, but basically you're at this point, right? It's still, it was a gradual process. You get to this point and things might be, might be about to take off, but usually maybe it, it might be the second half of the second year, right? Where you hit that inflection point and maybe you have a breakthrough moment, or maybe it's in that third year actually. In some cases for me, it's been in that third year where I hit that inflection point. So here's the thing with the inflection point, right? A lot of people think it's a lot earlier than it actually is. A lot of people think the inflection point is like two to three months in, or even shorter than that, to be honest. They'll, they'll take like this, this 60, 90 day course online and they'll think, oh, you know, after this course, I'm gonna be a master at this thing, right? I'm gonna have a successful business or I'm gonna, you know, be successful in this area, whatever the course is in, right? Um, but the truth is, or language learning is a, is a good one uh, because a lot of people, there's a lot of YouTubers and things like that that put out videos about, oh, how I, how I became fluent in this language in the next, in, in 90 days, right? But, uh, but from what I've seen, in order to, to really become fluent, in a language or to really you know have have more stability in terms of results consistent results and whatever you're building it takes it takes more time than that usually like i said that inflection point is in that third year for me from my experience and it might be faster for you but when i say an inflection point i mean you get to the point where the results exceed your expectations. They actually exceed your, your goals, right? Because oftentimes we set goals for ourselves. We tell ourselves, oh, we're gonna make a certain amount of money. Uh, we're going to um, have a certain outcome when, in our dating and social life. We're gonna become fluent in this language. We're gonna learn how to play this instrument very proficiently to the point where maybe we can go out and perform or you know whatever it is. Um, usually, what ends up happening is in that third year, you'll have that moment where it's like, wow, actually I'm, I'm pretty good at this. Like I'm getting good results here. And maybe there might be a week where it's just like a breakthrough, right? A breakthrough moment where the results just pour in and find, you feel like that, that moment of fulfillment of having achieved that. And then you feel this moment of, wow, I'm, I'm actually, I can't believe this is happening, right? I can't believe this is actually happening. And because your mind has been focused on it for so long and then finally it's happening and it's actually better than you thought it was in terms of results. That's, that's what I found multiple times when I've, when, I've, when I've noticed the process of how this all develops. So, so exponentially, right? Just to round out this point, usually, like I said, it's about noticing where the inflection point actually is, being more realistic about where that actually is because usually that is in that third year. So this is why I think there's this fallacy around exponential growth is because, like I said, a lot of people don't think about what that actually means, exponential growth. It means that you're, you're gonna have underwhelming results for a long time, right? You're actually gonna have results that don't really meet your expectations for a long time. And then finally you're gonna break through eventually and then the results are gonna pour in. But it takes a while and here's what I wanna emphasize is for me, from my particular from my particular experience and when i look at the the pattern overall of how my progress has been learning different things or doing different things 
like I said, the, the inflection point I found is a lot later than I initially expected, right? So it's, it's allowed me to be more patient with the process. And having that understanding, like I said, is, has really helped my patience and my, my ability to follow through. Because now, instead of being a year into something, so for example, like real world example is I'm learning Spanish and salsa right now. So both of these things, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about a year into for both of these things. And I'm at a pretty decent like intermediate level, right? Um, but there are still things when I, if I watch myself dance or if I listen to myself speak Spanish, I'm still kind of like, yeah, but you know, a lot of people compliment me on, on both of those things. They'll say, oh, you speak good Spanish or you're a good dancer. But then I'll, I'll watch myself back or I'll listen to myself. I'm still like, yeah, but you know, I'm not really where I want to be. I, I'm not totally fluent, right? I'm not, I'm not totally fluent in each of these areas. Because I can see if I go to a salsa, salsa social and I see someone dancing really well, I'm like, I don't look like that. <laughs> I, I don't expect you know, to be a professional dancer. That's not, not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm even saying with the basic steps, right? The way they move, it's like slightly different from, from the way I move. And I'm still working on the details, right? And same thing with Spanish. Uh, I, I record myself every day to work on my pronunciation and listen back to it. And it's getting better and better. And a lot of people say I have like a pretty decent accent, a accent actually. That's very understandable when I speak Spanish. But still, I can still hear the details. And it's about working on those tweaks. And then I know that if I keep doing that consistently one year from now, so in the third year, I'm going to hit a point of, I think, you know, the, the inflection point of, of fluency where it's like, okay, wow, I can actually hear myself speak. I can actually see myself dancing and it's, it, I, it's pretty good, right? Um, and I think that's a good analogy for everything else because that's the pattern I've seen, the same sort of pattern that I've seen in all these other areas. So anyway, I'm just gonna round out that point here um, about exponential growth and what it is, what it really is. And, and also acknowledging the first part of exponential growth which means that you're not going to be getting results for like, you're going to have underwhelming results for a while, if any results. So having that expectation in place, just realizing, yeah, just keep focusing on the process oriented goals, the leading indicators that will get you to where you want to go. And eventually you'll break through. So that's it for now. Talk to you later. Take care.